Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Walton, and in this short video, I'm going to explain to you why talk therapy doesn't really work. Let's get to it. If you like the video, click the like button, leave a little comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you. Okay, so people tend to go to therapy because they feel not in a good state. They're either anxious, worried, fearful, full of self-doubt, full of lack of confidence, scared. You know, all these types of things that we can be uncertain, insecure, depressed. The whole range of symptoms that we can experience as children and adults. And we go to therapy to try and clear that, to try and remove that, to try and release ourselves from the suffering, predominantly from negative emotions, from the stress, the underlying horrible feeling, that stress feeling of negative emotions. Now, we've all heard that old saying, you know, a trouble shared is a trouble halved. And often when you're feeling anxious, worried, concerned, sharing that with a loved one or a friend or someone that you trust, a colleague or something like that, really can relieve us, can't it? It can make us, oh, you know, getting it off our chest, so to speak. But if you're in therapy and going to therapy or feel that you need to go to therapy to clear up some stuff from the past that's causing negative emotions today or just your life events that are happening that are causing this stress, then talking about it week in, week out isn't very useful. What you want to be, what you really want, and the reason you go into therapy is to clear it so that you can think about the past, think about the now, think about the future, and not have that emotional response in the brain and that horrible feeling in the body. That's what we really want. That's why we would go to therapy so we can become free of the suffering of the negative emotions, the stress based emotions. And often, when you're just using talk therapy, going to a therapist once or twice a week, normally once a week, to sit and talk through your past, doesn't really do you too many favours. Because you're remembering the past, you're firing up those circuits of the past, you're firing up the stress that's connected to those circuits of the past. Often you feel that negativity, that stress chemistry that's activated in the body, which is not healthy, and you can go around in circles. I've had many clients come to my practice that have done talk therapy and gone nowhere fast, you know? Now, it's not to say that it doesn't work all the time. Like I say, a trouble shared is a trouble halved. But if you go in each week, rehashing the past without some technique, some ability to eliminate the emotional charge, to clear and stop the charge, the emotional stressful charge that happens when you think about the past, when your memories come up of the past, if you can't clear the charge from that, you're going around in circles each week and sometimes you're even reinforcing it because you keep going over it. But really, you want to be with a practitioner or a therapist that has the tools, the skill set, so that you can think about the past, you can apply a technique to it, clear the emotional stress, the worries, the fears, the anxieties, the lack of confidence, the lack of belief, the lack of feeling worthy, all of that stuff which we want to be free of. You need techniques to clear that, so then when you think about the past, ah, I don't feel that anymore. I don't care about that anymore. Aha, then you're free. But if you don't have that, if you don't have that, if you're not working with a therapist or you don't work, you know, you, you don't have those techniques to apply in therapy, you are going around in circles. And that's why I say talk therapy doesn't work very well. Now, there are many techniques today that are very good at doing that. Uh, a couple of them are EFT, the emotional freedom technique. I have a version of that myself called EFT. X, the X stands for extra, and also a technique that I created called the gamma mindset technique, which puts your brain into a peak brain state called gamma, where you can rapidly reprogram your subconscious mind. You can rapidly reprogram new positive empowering beliefs and thinking patterns into your subconscious so that when you move forward in life, you're operating off new software, not the old software of the past. This is how we become free. Clear the emotion, reprogram those underlying beliefs at the subconscious level, and become free because we've got new software that we're operating on moving into the future. 
and I'd love to show you how to do this for free. I've got a free masterclass where you can actually go into this gamma mindset, where I guide you into this gamma mindset experience, and you can reprogram your own subconscious mind to create positive change in your life. So if you'd like to experience that, simply follow the link at the end of this video, and I'll be waiting for you there.